Thank you so much for joining me. This is The Edge, and we are back in Firewatch. All right, so we're supposed to go and find the firefighters all the way down here near Scout Camp. If I'm not mistaken, that's where the firefighters are, right? Or did I mistakenly look at the wrong place? Supply drop. A pity station. Pretty sure that's the next thing here. It's supposed to be here, controlled in South Ruby River, and right over here. So look for burn, uh, burn south of Ruby River. So it's got to be right around here, and it looks like Scout Camp is circled. So we're going to go ahead towards there. We need to hit the fork. Right now, we are up here. We're going to have to run across and uh, get that. So let's go and find this stuff. Oh, this has been pretty interesting. And thank you so much for all your support with this game, too. I'm, I'm impressed that you guys uh, are okay with it. I know it's tough, and it's different. It's, uh, it's not the same as the crafting stuff, but I do like to change it up a little bit and have a little bit of a different style game, so it's kind of fun. And the story is amazing in this game. It is absolutely stunning. You can go up here. Uh, you can go across here. I just wanted to do a stream. It looks beautiful. It's one of those uh, beautiful moments in this game. I swear to God. I start looking at all the work these guys put into it. It really makes a big difference. And now we can run at least. Hey, Ooh. I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops? Anything strange with you? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Yeah. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? Yep. I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry... I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, hmm. keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Intercepting our frequency? Yeah, that's it. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... <sighs> it's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking, you know what? The guy in Kugu getting racked beyond the head. Open this up. Let's see. This is one, two, three, four. What if they were going to have different numbers? Or is this just what they stuck with? Let's see what's inside this supply crate. Survey says. Oh. I guess we've been here before because I remember this. We've gone through this before. All right, we've we've we actually seen this before. It relocks itself, I guess. There's nothing else in this whole thing, eh? No. All right. Uh, do we go through a cave? Is that what we're going to go through? Where are we now? Through the cave brings us down. Yeah, we have to go through the cave. All right, cave four five two. Ooh, this is uh, El Creepio. We've been to this one, right? This is the one that we went to? Yeah, it's still locked up. Okay. Maybe we can use that shovel for that cave. That's what I would like to find. What's inside that damn thing? Why would they lock that up? I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Yeah, no kidding. His dad protected him. Maybe he'd actually enjoy it. I'm not. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 
this is where the guy was uh, with the light when we first saw him. Just looking, maybe I missed something there. But let's see here. I'm going the right way because I hate to be going the wrong way all through this. But we gotta go two forks and back down, right? That's right, just down there. Okay. So, wow, that's a hell of a hike back. It's okay, we could do it. We're plenty fine. I mean, this is creepy as hell. The story has one hell of a plot that's been growing, and you get to know the characters. It's very well written. That's what a whole good movie and story is. That's what it's starting to feel like more of a playable movie, which I gotta say, I'm, I get enthralled with that stuff. Especially if it's well written. It has to be well written to get my attention. I'm not, I know I'm sitting for movies. It has to be extraordinarily well written for me to actually want to watch them. That's the reason why I'm really enjoying this so far, I think. It has the, the ability for that. Okay, there's our cabin. Oh, flatjack fire. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Why aren't they putting it out, though? Okay, so I figure it's gotta be this way. Let's look at the map once we get here. Just to double check to make sure we're not going crazy. And, uh... Yeah, I think that actually we'll go right through here, the canyon, and we should be able to meet up towards that river there. In theory. Everything's always in theory. We always try to see whether or not. It's actually really gorgeous, this game. God, I love it. Okay, it looks like we go down left here. Should bring us near the river. Yeah, the music is telling us we're going the right way. I always wonder if the music was telling us whether or not there was something that we're missing around the game, but with layers of fear. Wow. It really is a hell of a game. Oh, there we go. Cross this. Let's jump it. Jump. I've done this in real life. I slipped on the rocks. It's not even that hit. deep. Jesus, what was I doing that for? Just looked down and went, geez, that's not deep. Alright, there's another supply crate. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Let's see what's inside this one. Survey says. Okay, copy information on map. To lake. There's another note. Let's look at it. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue this news radio that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen and paper, but every once in a while, it would be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving I met me messages in the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job. So I wouldn't have the deal with her. Or mom. It's been sitting... What? I've been sitting at the spot for... I think I have to go Q in this one, eh? Sorry about that. Sitting in the spot. Where is it? Uh, but I took this job. I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at spot for a while now. Thinking about what you said to her. <laughs> but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife... Fife's... Instead, miss you, Dave. It's kind of awkward. I don't understand these letters at all. A, they're not proper English, so it throws me off. And B, oh, he's drunk. That's probably James Earl, Charlotte's Fort. Huh. Or at least, all right, let's drop this. Are any of these books that all make sense? One chance to die. All these are like mysteries. I see, like, right between the pages. I don't know why I can't open this. I don't know. Toilet paper. What is it? Terminal Steven. Terminal... Airport packed. Girls and travelers eager to ditch. Okay. There's nothing in these, any of these things. 
Just mystery books and JFK. Okay, this is JFK. 65 cents. Okay. There's nothing else? No floorboard, nothing else that would... No. Lend oh, look there. Lending library. Oh, shit. Oh, I just messed all that shit up. <laughs> shit, sorry. There is still the control fire over here. That's good. I found where they did the controlled burn. There we go. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. <laughs> the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if the burn gets out of control? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Wow, okay. Snowmobiles. Interesting. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Hmm. There's another one over there. Wow. What's this thing here? Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because, uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Okay, not really, but that's okay. I have no idea what else you would say about that. Alright, so this is it. So now we got Pork Pond. Are we going the right way here? Because I'm just looking everywhere here. And I think we're going the right way. It just feels like we're going the right way. There's a control burn on the map over there. You can see it's all just kind of etched out. Cotton Creek is on the other side and there's Park Pond. Okay, so we're just going the right way. Yes, we are going the right way. Jesus, game. She's freaked out. He's freaked out. That's not good. Let's see if we can see anything from a pie. Oh, there's a scale cap. I've been a scout before. I recognize them wood thing. Yep. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. <sighs> Thanks. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Walk the ravine. Uh, let's see, we'll get some high ground here and see what we can find. There's gotta be something around here. Oh, yeah, totem pole. Whoa. Well, the best place to drop with that little cliff there. Okay. This game gives you option to do it. There's something on that bench over there too. We'll go to totem pole in a second. Oh no, okay, it's just a piece of wood. Alright. Uh, we remember this in Scouts too. It's real nice. Yeah, I helped carve one. Not easy to do. I wasn't that talented either. It wasn't that hard to hop over? Jeez. Let's see what else we can find here. Definitely a eerie feeling in this camp. It's like no one's used this in a long time. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Mm. He was scout material, huh? Like what? There we go. 
What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. <laughs> the what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. I'm supposed to report this campfire? I saw it before. There we go. A little graphic issues there. I can't seem to reach the campfire unless I'm at a certain angle. Kind of weird. It says stop out, didn't it? It's still smoldering. I'm not sure why it's not letting me look at it. Damn it! I hate that when it does that. Campfire is actually over there. Okay. That's a little bit of an issue. Concerning the fires on the other side. Or that's just a mistake. Probably a mistake. We'll let it be. The Power of Life old shelter? Here you go. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, I've slept in those before. Whoa. Who the hell would bring a bear trap? There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. That is messed up. There's a missing person thing. The same one, isn't it? Mitch Michael. Features distinct facial hair. Looks a lot like him, actually. 1981, we're 1989, so it's been a while. We'll hold on to this and keep it anyways. We should probably take this with us to make sure, but no. 10 to 1. This must have something to do with it. I don't know. I wish I'd understand all the books, why they're like that, but there's nothing underneath here. No. Alright, let's see what else there is. Looks like this one you can't even climb up, so that doesn't look very safe for any kind of scouts or any kids to be here, that's for sure. Okay, we'll head back down, I guess, this way here. Hopefully we'll find our way and find something useful in this... Oh, there's an axe, I think, yes. Oh, I love axes. Yeah, these guys are gone. Found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that <laughs> thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. <laughs> this thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Backcountry? Okay, so we can actually hit the bushes and stuff. We like you a lot. Now, how do we get the axe? Does it just use it automatically, or do we have to press one, two, three? Is there any hotkey for that? Or it's only when it's useful. I guess it's only when it's useful. Oh. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. Uh. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. Yep. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. 
Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Damn. That's seriously messed up that they're actually doing that. I can't believe it. I wonder if we can use the axe for this. Clear. Left click. Oh, yeah. We just made an opening. That's awesome. Where are we now? So we opened up towards there. That's awesome. So that's definitely, we can loop back around that canyon. Let's just see what else we can find here. We did the whole thing. If you wonder what that is, that's actually where the scouts would put raise the flags and have their meetings and stuff out there. They'd be sitting down out here. And that's uh, obviously where the fire guys were told to leave. So that's not good. We left the axe behind, thankfully, maybe to help us out. We don't realize it. Chopped down. All right, cool. Yeah, baby. Back in the forest. Even this game. Come on, baby. Knock this down. Yes. I say yes. Let's just double check we're not missing anything around here. Some clues or something that we get left over. No. Nothing. Let's see if we can cross this at least. There's a space bar. Hop over. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Buddy, you just styling how fast you are. So now if I go at the end of here. We should check that out before we go any further. Let's see what else there is at the end of this. Just to make sure. You know, this game's starting to creep me out. I'm starting to feel like someone's following us. It feels like someone's watching. I don't know why. Just maybe it's all the stories creeping the shit out of me. Sorry if I'm walking at an angle, because I'm looking from behind to see if there's anybody following us here. It's like here, we can go up here. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. Shit. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Holy shit. Shit's getting real, boys and girls. My god. Oh, man. It's, uh, it's stressing me out for this game. I don't know what it is. It's that story has really got me entwined. I, f I feel like I need to protect ourselves here. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. <laughs> Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Okay. What can you do me for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? <laughs> Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. Okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Okay. Uh, uh, alright. 
Yes, sir. Just, you know, have a look at it. Um, Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, it looks pretty freaking good to me. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. <laughs> Radio me the moment you get there. Alright, this is getting more and more interesting. We're going to have to leave the episode here, so thank you so much for joining me. Please stay tuned for the next episode. We'll get out as fast as possible. This story is getting incredibly nuts. I'm, I'm, I love it. Anyway, so yeah, she's obviously going to lead us somewhere in that secret code. So thank you so much for joining me. If you can hit a like, it's always appreciated. This is you guys for Game Edge. And I'll catch you on a flip side.